Welcome to the Turtle Conservation Center, where dedicated efforts are making a real impact in saving sea turtles. Starting in the early 1990s, the Two Oceans Aquarium began rescuing turtles. And as the ocean crisis grew, so did the mission. Today, it's South Africa's leading turtle rehabilitation center, having rescued and released over 1,300 turtles. With a team of 10 full-time staff, 90 volunteers, and a network of 2,000 community rescuers. They are working tirelessly to protect these incredible animals. Join us for a monthly behind-the-scenes look and meet the dedicated team making it all possible. My name is Yolisa Bezu and I am a sea turtle aquarist for the Two Oceans Aquarium Foundation. I'd like you to join me for a moment now as we walk through our turtle rehabilitation center and see some cool stuff. The first thing you will notice is this algae pool over here. We mainly reserve this pool for conducting passive enrichment for the turtles that we have. We use algae to decorate their tanks and we also use it when we're feeding them, especially just before their releases to make their environment much more natural. Behind me over here, we've got a, a bigger porta pool that we use for storing some of the big turtles that we have. And at the moment, the turtle that is inside here is a loggerhead sea turtle named Gizmo. She is a hatchling from last year, so she's just about two years old at the moment. And then over this side, we've got another big turtle, different species. This one is a green turtle. Her name is Pebbles. She came in about two weeks ago and she's doing quite well at the moment. She's eating all her food. And then on this side, we've got smaller tanks that are sectioned off. In these tanks, we are housing our loggerhead hatchlings. And at the moment, we have about 28 hatchlings. We did a big release about a week ago. This is the INJ Ocean Exhibit. We have two types of releases for our big turtles. We have what we call the soft release and we have the actual release. During the soft release phase, this is when we see that a turtle is doing well in one of the tanks we have at the TCC roof. And then we decide to bring it to a bigger space where there are other animals as well, just to see how well it does in a bigger space. And then we'll move it here into the INJ Ocean exhibit. Once it's inside here, we are still able to feed the turtle and we are still able to get it if it needs any injectable medicines and to be weighed and measured as well. Talking about releasing turtles, on the 21st of October 2024, 14 sea turtles were released off the coast of Sodwana in East Mangaliso Wetland Park. 12 of these turtles were adopted by FNB who had covered the rehabilitation costs. Each turtle had been fitted with a satellite tag and released back into the warm blue ocean. Most of these sea turtles entered the south moving current and quickly made their way down the coastline. And that is all from me today. Do join me next time to learn more about the turtles' journeys and see how we care for stranded sea turtles when they are first brought into our rehabilitation center.